Are you a recruiter ready to set your goals for 2023? Check out this video right now and I'm gonna give you some insights on how to do that. Welcome to The Millionaire Recruiter. I'm Brianna Rooney, your Millionaire Recruiter. If you have not seen this channel before, it's all about making you the next Millionaire Recruiter and up in that recruiting game. Let's have some fun. So, yes, it is March and hopefully you have joined me in the 30-day challenge. If you have not, make sure you watch that last video on the 30-day challenge and you still have time to join me. Now, if you are in the challenge, one week has gone by and you should have already reached out to 100 companies and 400 candidates. Make sure we have used the tracker that we have sent you because the person that is the most consistent and has the most results wins a 60 minute coaching session with myself, which I do charge $400 for. So I think it's a pretty cool price. All right. Now let's get to it. Let's get to your goals and how to set them. So by now the dust has settled, right? We're no longer saying happy new year. We're moving straight on, straight forward, but lots of times I have found that if you haven't set your goals in January or February, you might not ever set your goals. And the truth is that if you don't have goals, how do you achieve anything? Um, you might just be going through life and be like, oh, well, let's just hope for the best. Uh, but it's really great to really set some goals so then you know what you're working towards. And then what you, if you know what you're working towards, you know those little steps in order to get there and feel really great about yourself and just to find success. So here's what I do. Here's what we're going to start with. And I'm going to do it like all sorts of things in your life because every certain, everything in your life needs a set goal and needs something you're going towards. I was watching this podcast, which actually I'll, I'll put below here just so you can check that out too. I was listening to, listening to the podcast and um, it said that if you are in the same spot in a year, if you haven't changed at all in a year, you're doing yourself a disservice. You haven't grown. You have to grow. You have to change. So let's do it. So first thing first, let's talk about money. Have your money goals. So, and the reason why I start with money isn't because that it's more important than family and kids and all of those things, but it's for sure not. However, this is what gives you the freedom to do what you want. Everyone talks about work-life balance, saving up for a house or a vacation home, going on vacations, um, different investments. You can't do any of that. You can't spend more time with the family unless you have money. That's the bottom line. So, what are your money goals? Not only what are they, are they realistic? How are you going to get there? And as a recruiter, if you're an agency recruiter, you can probably, you know, think about your commissions and work backwards. How many deals do I have to close? How much money do I have to close in order to make this amount of money that I'm looking for? Uh, if you own your own agency, again, how many deals do I have? How much, what goes to taxes? What doesn't? Do I, what's my money go before taxes? Do I want to hire? There's just so many different things that go in, that go into it. If you're an internal recruiter, same thing. I know you're a little more limited because you're on a salary. But maybe there's bonuses that you can hit. Maybe there's, if you hit just certain KPIs, get those hires, you know, you get some kind of sign on or, or something, right? So um, let's really dig into this. So make your money goals and then figure out how you're going to get there. And if you, and if you're like, well, my money goal is way too high than what I'm currently even remotely capable of yet. Well, then maybe you need to invest in yourself and in your career. And if you do need help with that, naturally we do that via Thriversity. And then the Millionaire Recruiter does have a program that I'm actually helping people start their own agency. And that has been so rewarding <laughs> for myself in particular and my team. Um, so money goal first. Now let's talk about personal. This is your journey. Every year is your journey. Every day is your journey. So you have to think about where do I want to be mental health wise? What could I do better at? What essentially makes me happy and how can I be happier? You know, just, and again, you could just be super happy and be like, I'm really great right now, but I'm pretty sure if you look inside, there's something you could probably tweak that can make you a little more happy, make your life a little easier. So really dig deep. Health wise, do you feel like you exercise enough? Do you feel good? What are you putting in your body? Yes, food and alcohol. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Um, what are you putting in your body? Are you, do you feel like you're at, you know, this great pace? Do you have energy throughout the day? Are you lacking energy? Why or why not? Um, or do you have a lot of anxiety? Maybe you need to exercise more. Maybe you need to, you know, dig deeper somewhere else. So health is super important. Um, for me, and then I have kids. 
What goals do I have for my kids? Um, personally, for me, I want to get back to the parent that I, I like to roll around in the mud with my kids. I always have. Um, but now as they've gotten a little bit older, they haven't really always wanted to play with me as much. So I kind of like just sitting on the bench being like one of those parents just watching. And I'm like, why am I doing that? That's not fun for me. So I'm going to involve myself, you know, more with my kids on that, on that aspect. Um, relationship. Whether or not you're in a relationship or not, it's important to have those certain goals because that can always be better. Uh, for example, sorry to put my brother on blast here, <laughs> but for example, he's not in a relationship, but he was so hyper focused on getting in a relationship last year that it kind of like made him crazy and made his self confidence go down a little bit. So this year, he's like, I'm not into that. I'm just gonna focus on myself and I don't need a relationship. So that alone is a different goal that you can have. Career. Now, I know we talked about money, but money and career are two completely different things, even though your career is what gets you money. Career-wise, how do you want to grow? Uh, do you want to be a better leader? Do you want to get to management? By the way, be careful with management. It's not as fun as you think it is. Uh, do you want to um, just maybe you're a manager and you want to go to an individual contributor? You just want to build up, build on that ladder. Uh, maybe you want to be, get really great at presenting and speaking and teaching. And, you know, there's just so many things you can do career wise, which is exciting. And then family. Now, yeah, I talked about kids, but in my opinion, kids and family are two different things. Cause I think about, you know, um, and I also, I put friends in this friends and family cause friends are the family you choose, right? So family, how involved do you want to be with family? For me, I feel like I haven't been involved enough. Sometimes I just kind of get stuck in my own like little, little cubby hole and I'm just put my head down. I'm working and, and, you know, being with my kids and stuff that I don't reach out enough. And then lots of times when it's time for me to reach out and time for me to catch up, it feels like a lot because it's been so long. Um, so my goal is to keep in touch and in, in like little bits so it doesn't feel so big. And then I got two more for you, which is the reach goal. So a reach goal means a pretty big goal. Like if I could get to this reach goal at the end of 2023, I would be like ecstatic. I would lose my mind and I would give myself a pat on the back like constantly. Um, and my reach goal is new. Uh, it's a new revenue income stream. Not to do with recruiting. recruiting. I've made mo great money off of recruiting for so long that I kind of feel like, ooh, well, can I make money in like a different way? So for me, that's my reach goal. That takes a whole other thing, but you need to decide what your reach goal is. And then I have an ultimate goal and you may laugh, but I'm just going to say it. It's to win the lottery. <laughs> okay. But no, seriously, I do have that on there. My ultimate goal. Cause in my, in my opinion, when I hear ultimate goal, I'm thinking like five, 10 years down the line. So really it could be like, Oh, I want to retire. You know, or I want to retire early. I want to retire by my 40. I want to retire by, by the time I'm 50. I want to do this, I want to do that. I want to travel around the world. You know, that can be an ultimate goal. But for me, it's to win the lottery because why not? <laughs> but again, even like your ultimate goals have to have micro goals. And I know this is silly and you're probably like, this is ridiculous and turning me off right now. But for example, I have now set myself up to um, every week play the lotto and it's like paid out for like, two months at a time. Like I pay for tickets two months at a time. So I'm like, I've decided this is my goal. Um, anyways, to each their own, right? So there's lots of ways that you can set your goals. I like to put it again in all aspects of your life. If I'm missing something, by all means, put in the comments. I would love to hear what your goals are. And then you can even get nitty gritty as far as rec your recruiting goals, which is your different KPIs. How many people do I want to place? Do I want to maybe hit a different market? Do I want to get a different niche? Um, do I want to start placing higher levels? You know, so you can do that. You can talk about that in your career or in just make a whole new category for recruiting. Um, maybe I want to boost up my response rate. Maybe I want to now become a client manager, which is dealing directly with the clients. And that's when you're doing some biz dev. So your goals are your goals, but the whole point is that you need to set them. So if you have not yet, make sure you do that. And hopefully one of your goals is to win this 30 day challenge because I want to coach you. So uh, have a great Thursday and I will see you every Thursday at noon. And don't forget that money is just a vessel to do all the amazing things you want to go do in life. So go live it. See you next week.